country, we have many rules to abide by. Yeah. If you just go take all of your clothes, do you think police will come and arrest you? Imagine someone become naked and running around. Yeah. Do you think police will allow it? And so that's how you think about hijab? No, no, no. I'm, I'm asking a simple question. What do you think? Oh, yeah. No, that would be so wrong. No, 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 no. I'm not so wrong. Will police Someone... catch? Will police catch oh, yeah. and fine? Yes. Yeah. So they are. That means any society we live in, we must abide by a law. Correct. Yeah. It's the same way. When so. Now imagine. Let's say a scenario. Man acts. Who is running around naked? Police court and fine. Do you think any of us will object the issue? No. Why? Because we have to abide by the law. Now, when we have this standard in mind, the same standard we need to apply to our God. If now, if Allah tells us in first place, now imagine Isa, imagine I told you, Isa, do not go to that road because you will burn your leg. And I told you five times, six times you didn't listen to me. You go to this road, burn your leg. Who would you blame? I blame yourself. Yeah. Why? Because you didn't listen to the comment. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell people before committing any act, Allah told us how to live in a healthy life so that they can stay away from that activity that will displease him. For example, so do you for, believe that? Do, do you get my point? Do you get my point? Do you get my point? So, do you believe that physical abuse is the way to teach women how to do that? No, I, I agree we should not be abusive, okay? I agree. Physical? Look, yes, we should not be physical. And no emotional? Look, there are certain conduct Islam allowed as well. Yeah. The way you have explained that, if this is the case, this is not the appropriate way to deal. There are certain conditions we should, like imagine, imagine, hear me out. Imagine if your children do something that you dislike. If imagine your children hanging up with gang, murderer, rapist, you don't just torture him. What would you do? You consult with him. You tell him the importance of how to behave good. In Islam, unfortunately, what you have said, maybe the family is not educated enough about Islam. So therefore, the blame cannot be taken by the Islam because Islam tells us there is a certain way of coaching our children. Okay. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was the great role model. And he was the loved by the whole nation. Meaning so, in fact, Allah tells us, He is a mercy for mankind. Why? Because he shows the extreme level of good character. How to treat children. The children used to so happy when they see him. So that means, if someone in the name of religion act bad, now let's say, Islam say, do not kill any soul. Now let's say, hypothetical in a Muslim killed another another guy. Can I blame that to Islam, or can I blame that individual person for killing someone? Yes. Why? Because the person. Is a Muslim. Well, I don't think she understood the question. He's saying if Islam says yeah. do not kill, and a Muslim goes and kills someone, right. someone. do we blame the religion? Do you, or, or do you blame the person? Oh, the person. Yeah. The person. Right, Sorry. exactly. So now, the same scenario applied in this case. All of those blame goes to their misunderstanding of the religion itself. Yeah. The true, uh, what Allah said in the Quran, the beautiful, yeah? Allah said, the sincere slave of Allah, yeah? Wa ibadur Rahman. Allah said, Ibadur Rahman, the sincere slave of Allah, is when even someone an ignorant address him, he just say, Qalu Salama, be peace upon to you, let me leave. So he doesn't even indulge with something, fighting or, you know, creating violence. So Islam has a code of conduct. Yeah. If someone abide by the code of conduct, he shouldn't have the go to that option. Imagine, and Islam always talk prevention is better than cure. And therefore, we have called five maqasid, yeah? There are five objectives in our Sharia, Islam. And one is the protection of human being, protection of his intellect, and protection of sound mind and his religion. 
his intellectual faculty. So whenever we, Allah told us to eat good food, hang up with good company, and remember Allah often. So this is the code. And the detrimental thing that can disturb those intellectual faculties are the drugs, alcohol, bad companies. Allah told us, stay away from those. No, no, no. Hear me out. It's, it's important. It's important. It's, it's important to understanding the foundation, right? So Allah tell us, in order to protect yourself, you don't do that is harmful for you, but do things that will good for you. Now, if we apply that same scenario to your friend's case, I can guarantee you none of the none of the steps actually taken place. So you're blaming her for how she was. No. I'm blaming her family that they didn't teach okay. her well. So they I didn't have, protect her. I just, because this is not Islam advocate. So your religion in itself is beautiful. It is. I love your religion. However, the way that a lot of uh, families are brought up in teaching that religion to their younger children, I don't believe that is right. Can I because they they are they are often physically abusive and emotionally abusive. I have many friends who grew up in Islam and are no longer in Islam because of how their parents taught them. How do you think that you would be able to? Uh, in what you're doing I, 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 I think let, yeah. let's let's not blame Islam for that. No, no, it, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I think your religion is so Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna address a vital point here. Yeah. Look, as a society in whole in England, the society is going through a challenges. Yeah. And which is the missing of social bond. Yeah. And discord in marital affairs. Yeah. Right. And that is goes in line with everyone, an Englishman, black man, white man, Chinese, and everyone going through this issue. Right. Yeah. So there are some common issues within everyone. So we cannot label Muslim for this, right? I now, know, I'm not no, 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 I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just making, you know, yeah. like sometimes people can misunderstand. Yeah. So we need to make. You should not edit this. <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's why that's why I'm making this we clarity. We don't edit the video. That's why I'm making that clarity, right? So yeah. everyone is going through. So when we are talking about those families, right? Let's yeah. say for example in Stratford, if you walk around, yeah. you will find at least at least 30 to 40 percent of the children they are come from a single parent. And because of the single parent, the parents is not capable or not given enough time to look after them, nurturing them. Look, giving children birth is not the responsibility, not only the responsibility of the parent. Parent has to monitor where my children are going, where they with the good company or the bad company. So whenever we go and identify the root cause of the problem, like for example, I tell you why. When you go to the doctor, yeah, yeah. let's say we go with a problem. Let's say you have an intestinal problem. Doctor, without examining you, giving you a tablet, would you, ha would you be happy with that? Why not? Because how does he know? The diagnostic was not done properly. Yeah. The same way, when we look at the social problem, we need to go back to the root cause of it. And you know what the root cause of it? Alcohol, gambling. These are the root cause of it. And that's why Islam prohibited. Yeah. Now imagine, imagine if you take all these problematic thing that Allah told us not to indulge upon then look we would be happy and harmonious family so that's why we in Islam we have two things allowable and prohibition the prohibition is to there to protect us and allowable is something that we should practice upon it to make ourselves better for example Allah told us eat, eat good foods and what he prohibited that something harmful Allah did Allah told us to eat blood no because blood is harmful. Allah told us, halal and tayyiba, eat lawful and good things. So, the beauty of the religion is, often we try to take our desire to lead to our guidance, which Allah tells us, do not follow your desire as your own God, meaning, do not define your way of life just because you like it. Allah, that's why Allah said, look at the sound intellect that I've given you. Give me an example. I, I 
forget everything with this Allah and um, I have a lot of friends in Christianity that have separated themselves from Christianity because of how their parents enforce laws in physical and emotional yeah. ways. How are you going to, your, like, so, with all of this, yeah. encourage parents to not um, enforce these uh, religious oh. okay, uh, uh, ways? Yeah, sure. With I'll give you a point. Yeah. Sure. First of all, Islam says there is no compulsion in religion, so we yeah. cannot force it onto people. However, Second, parents yeah. do. Second of all, with parents, what we can do is we can advise parents the yeah. same way you tell your kids do not murder. Yeah. But murderers exist. The, the parents you're mentioning, the majority, and I guarantee you the majority of Muslim parents do not enforce. Okay. What you're seeing is subjective people with subjective experiences. And these people have obviously and areas. Uh, I'm not trying to generalize, yeah, no, just but to I know, say, no, yeah. areas how they were brought up, where they were brought up, yeah. all of these, and what their parents' habits are, all play into account, as he said. Yeah. So when we mention with telling them, me and him can tell everyone on here, don't be your kids, don't, don't abuse your kids, stuff like that. Will they listen to us? Some may, some may not. Yeah. The problem is it's not in the religion, but it's in the people themselves. Like he said, does the parent gamble? Does the parent have anger issues? Does he drink alcohol? Does she drink alcohol? And there's problems, which is why Islam is, as he said, yeah. prevention instead of cure. Why do you need to cure something when you can prevent the thing exactly. itself? Yeah. For example, for example, if you know that if you drink too much, you will have a heart surgery. But if doctor tells you, if you can prevent it now, you don't need to do a surgery. Which one is better? Drinking it and going through a surgery or prohibiting you yourself? So the problem, this country actually needs Islamic guidance. People living with this the desire. Country. This country, not this country, okay. actually the world. Because do you know why? Because there but are... This country uh, is a Christian country. It's not no, it's not a, it's, it's a secular country. Because I think the last time, you know, the stats, I don't know, what do you call it? I don't la, agree with Christian Islam Christianity. Is yeah. No, 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 yeah. no, but it's not Christian majority. I think last year or the year before, there was an... A statistics was done. I don't right. know. Yeah, we do have separation between church, the church and, and, and uh, right. Yeah. So now, uh, what my point is here: Islam is the only religion which doesn't diluted with the social pressure. Yeah, there are other religion which accepted the idea of society. But right. in Islam, we are the only religion we actually said no. We want to protect Allah's guidance because the guidance is coming from the source who is all knowing. So. As, as you have discovered the beautiful side of Islam, would you yourself want Islam for you? Um, I don't believe in any religion. I just believe there is something up there, but I myself will follow my own morals, mm. not any laws uh, or like rules. Yeah, so, my so that, own specific morals. So how, you know, your own moral, to define something good or define something bad. I'm sure you have categorized something good and something bad. How yeah. do you define it? Oh, that is so hard. <laughs> so you realize it's not hard. Is because it's the subjective opinion yeah. is based on something unknown factors. Like for example, yes, exactly. This is what we're talking about. So whenever, let's say, I wanted to make a decision about this box. Let's say this is a box. Right. Yeah. I do not know 80% of this box. Okay. Can I make a correct justification on that box? No, I cannot. I cannot make a commentary on that. So when we talk about our morals and desire, all of the things are related to beyond my knowledge, meaning I am not capable of. I have, what I can say myself is that I feel like it. That's the highest you can go. But you cannot say I know exactly how my chemical reaction work, how my psychology work. We do not even know what are the cell actually responsible. Medical science can tell you, but you cannot tell. So therefore, you are not going to a medical scientist to define how should I live by it, right? So therefore, what we say, we are not fit for defining our code since we do not know the whole package. It's like someone, someone want to make a building, but he doesn't have a knowledge of architecture. 
So he will, the moment he will make a building, because he doesn't know the architecture, a building will collapse. Yeah. Can I comment one thing on morality? Sure, sure. The problem with humans making their own laws is it's never worked. Yeah. And I'll explain why. Laws change. 200 years ago, homosexuality was banned. Yeah. yeah. Now it's fine. Yeah. When we look at certain things to do with adultery, yeah. people are stoned. Yeah. British England, yeah. like the Christianity, when Christianity was mainly around, there was a law on adultery, you'd be killed, you'd be stoned publicly. Um, when we look at women who were suspicious, they would be burnt alive for being called witches. Yeah. This all comes from human-made laws. The reason Christianity has many arguments and differences within itself, why do the people de debate on the Trinity itself being illogical? Because humans have controlled what is true and what is false, what is right and what is wrong. And that's our problem with so humans have laws. If today we have gay men dating gay men, we have gay women dating gay women, we have all sorts of sexualities, does Islam of the modern society agree with that? So the question is, when we're talking about Islam, do you believe that our morality should come from an objective source rather than our subjective source? Then that point will stand. It's a very important question. I'm asking you again. Do you believe, since we evaluated and we discussed and we, we kind of realized that objective morality has no solution for our problems? Right. Therefore, we need an objective morality where we can all agree. Okay. Rather than taking my own law to myself, let's kind of agree with a morality based on where we can all agree. My okay, question. But I, I think that sexuality is not about agreeness. No, that's It's about who you are. No, no, no. That's, that's not no, that. No, that's not that. You don't think that. No, I don't think that. No. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. There are something given to you does not necessarily mean, mean to you. Okay. It means owner. Are you the owner? No. You're just having it. So the life that you're given, did you ask for it to give it to you or was it given to you? Okay. You asked me that question. Well, my parents it, had sex and then there was I. There no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Was it given to you? No, was it given, like for example, I'll, I'll tell you. Imagine if you die, God forbid, if you die in front of your parents, right. will your parents give you life again? No. Therefore, your parents were not consciously responsible to bringing you out to, to so this universe. So how are they responsible to choose what sexuality I have? Right. That's not their duty. That's not your duty. The duty of the maker of you. Now, as you have realized, the body and the life that you given was given by someone else other than your parents and not you. Right. So if I don't give my life to myself, not my parents, then someone else. Then once we identify who is my maker or someone who is responsible for my making, should I not then obey? Yeah, but if... No, no, why... why case, what, what? In that case, why would being gay exist? Why would choosing your sexual, not even it's choosing? Ah, uh, okay. This is this is this is right, right. Now I can exists. answer that question, okay. but answer the first premise. So you know there are argument in in the stairs, right? So yeah. there are step one, step two, step three. We don't jump onto the step three. First step one, then step two, then step three. If you jump onto step three, you will have an accident. So the question go back. Since you have realized that you didn't come from nothing, your parents didn't created you, that means someone must have created you. Because there is no other choices. I do not want to make a fallacy. I want to hear, do you have any other option that where did you come from? Because it's essential, then therefore we can define what we can choose for ourselves or not. Reincarnation. Right? No, that, that rein, no, no, the reincarnation is not, is not an option. Reincarnation is means someone has to bring you in the, in the first religion. place. So That's your religion. No. Re, like my religion. No, I, we don't, have, we don't believe in reincarnation. How I believe, how I believe myself, like Christi, Christians believe something else, Hindus believe something else. We have to accept all yeah, yeah. of these different yeah, religions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allah, Allah. I myself believe in reincarnation. Yeah, so the point number one, uh, Isa, let's finish here and then I'll... Yeah. I'll so the point number one, then we establish there is a creator, right? Or someone who brings it into existence. Yeah. Now, who define? Now, if I make a bottle, do the bottle define the purpose or am I define the purpose? 
So we for logically follow that if the creator but of the does bottle. Does the bottle know the purpose? Sorry, the bottle was known because I've informed the bottle. Yeah, but does the bottle know the purpose? The bottle would not know if I don't tell. Simple. But how can the bottle know that you've told it? Exactly. This is the great question. That's why Allah, when He created every human being, how did He inform? He sent prophets and messenger so that you know God. What he says is he has not, he has exactly. not sent. He has not not sent a message yeah. to every nation. Yeah. So every nation Sean has received will, a messenger, a messenger, yeah. and the messenger inform you about your purpose. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So now Allah tell us, "Wa ma khalaqtu al-jinna wal-insa illa liyabdu." Allah created mankind and the jinn kind to test you. Meaning that something you love, Allah will say not to follow it. Something Allah. But Allah given you so many things, like often what happened, people complain about so many things that it's not working. But these people are very hypocritical, do you know how? Because when everything was working, they never thanked God. Do you see? It's like you taking money from me, you never say thank you. And the moment I stop money, you start swearing me. And a hypothetical I'm not scenario. Money from you. No, no, I'm just a hypothetical <laughs> yeah, scenario. It, it, so, so. <laughs> So on that essence, as you have realized that the morality that we have taken in our own hand, do you know Allah actually talk about these psychological things in the Quran? Okay. Allah tells us, that have you seen the one who taken his desire as his own God? Meaning, he takes his desire as mean whatever I feel like I need to do it, means I will be submitted to it. Meaning the way we should obey God, he obeyed his way of life and he loves his life the way he defined himself. So, and that is very subjective and you realize and that cannot be a solution for humanity. Because imagine if you, like for yourself, all of the people in the world have this individual mindset. This world will be chaos and corruption. Someone would say, look, I love singing at the night time. Yeah. Loud. Another would say, look, I find sleeping in the night time is better. It's, it's, I'm, I'm not trying it, yeah, to, it's to discord the harmony. your religion. I think your religion in itself is beautiful. I just think that somehow, some way that people enforce this religion Yes, I agree, agree. Is yeah, wrong. we agree. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. agree. So okay. we, we never said it. Okay. What, what, what we, no, no, case, well, look. Let me I, say one yeah, yeah. What, what we say is very important here. And I think no, this no. is a people problem, did, did you, did, not did a you, religious Yeah, problem. exactly. Yeah. Do you know why? And this is to due to with a lack of knowledge or lack yeah. of understanding. Sometimes people have knowledge, but they don't practice it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, what, yeah. So Allah said the most hateful things in the sight of Allah is the things you say, but you don't do. Yeah. Right. right. How so, can you preach yeah, good, good and you do not do it yourself? Exactly. So our religion tells us not to be hypocritical, meaning giving advice to someone which you don't do. Yeah? Right. So Allah talks about all of these moral codes that humankind needs yeah. it. And, and, and I, my question, my question to... My people in the Islam community yeah. that preach Islam Again, your religion is beautiful. However, they would do the things that is not religious, such as drink alcohol. Absolutely. And Agreed. they would Actually, deal in fact, yeah, yeah. Amal, people... who is my friend that I've been talking about, her brother was a drug dealer. Sure. However, she yeah. then started dating a white man. Sure. And he tried to beat her up over dating a white man. Obviously, out of we're marriage. on camera. Okay. Uh, so, true. how is that correct? So, uh, 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 obviously, uh, Islam itself is a beautiful I'm religion. A bit, it's just the okay. society so. around it that can create <laughs> uncomfortable. Yeah. I'll, what I'll say is. This is completely the problem with what the is West that is, what, what the West is trying to preach here. Okay. No, no, no. We're trying no, to no, no, no. We're just trying to no, no, no. no. The, no, no. The, the whole, whole yeah. point is, whole point is, is uncovering the yeah. truth. So, for example, there are layers. So, when the alcohol mixed with the water, right. it's not water. And our religion, Allah talks us, "Wala tell bi sulhaka bil baatil, wa taktum alhaka wa antum taalim." That do not mix truth with falsehood. Yeah. Okay. 
The same way, when Allah given us the divine guidance, we should not mix with our desire. Make sure you separate. So when you, in Islam, Allah tell us to reject the desire guidance and then accept the guidance from all knowing who Allah takes it. So for example, whenever you see a hole in the road, if you do not fix it straight away, when the rain comes, it will break the whole road because that will the cause of breaking others. So whenever in Islam anyone do something wrong, we straight away repent to Allah, come back to the ways so that it doesn't become more detrimental. Okay. Would you like to add any point? Uh, well, I wanted to add to the point. Was, sure. First of all, drug dealing can cause an effect on his mental um, yeah. side It is to do with economical mm. yeah. situations. Which is... Which is mm. why it's not to do with religious Islam, exactly. Islam also, exactly. Wait, which is what I tell you is Islam fixes economical situations. It, it, it does. Okay, so if then think, why are so many people that okay. um, preach Islam in is, I'll, I'll tell terrible, you now. It, okay, I'll tell you now. Why. Who's the leader of this country? Keir Starmer at the moment. Okay. A white and what man, law? Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> what law do we follow? What law system? Democracy, right? Yeah. Islam brings Sharia. With the law of God, right? Shar Allah. So the thing is, it's a difference of law. If we had a Muslim Amir, right? Uh, Amir al Mu'minin, we call him. The, um, the leader of the. Church. Believer. Believer. Yeah, the believers, yeah. yeah. So when we have this, right? And we have an Islamic state. The like the livelihood. So that's what you want England to no, become in We never said. Islamic if state. we could. Then sure, we would want the whole. I, I think. I think. I think. Let, let's yeah. make. Let's but make. Wait. Let's make the point shorter. The point, the point shorter here is uh, the leader would be responsible yeah. for the poor people. Exactly. And the poor people wouldn't have to be suffering because if we had an Islamic system. Okay, but we had Rishi Sunak. The Rishi. He was a brown man. Okay. And his parents were first. Okay. Okay. So I'll, yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the the yeah. biggest problem. So the country's economic system. Let me address you directly. This economic system runs by the riba, interest. Interest yeah. meaning, usury. usury meaning you taking poor from poor and making rich richer and poor, poor more it's poorer. It's a trickle down system. Right, yeah. okay. So it's, it's, it's a very unfair system, yeah. right? It, it has many implications on the social bonding. So you getting rich, richer, poor, more poorer. Okay. But what Islam offered to you? Yeah, but the thing is... No, 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 religion, you don't even know. No, 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 you don't... No, no, we have prescription. We have... No, 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 no. no. have to have a separation no. between no, no, no. That's, religion that's, and... That's the problem of Christianity. Do you know why? That's the problem with the Christianity, not Islam, because it doesn't cater for all the... the thing is, at the moment, See, hear me out, hear me. Give, give me one minute. Give, 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 give me one minute. Give, 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 I'll tell you why it's very important, what you say. The problem with the Christianity... This is not a total religion, meaning the religion is not complete. Yes. Islam is unlike. It has everything, all the solution there. We have something called counter to the interest, which is called zakat. Zakat is to taking from the rich, giving it to the poor, so that social harmony can be balanced and there will be no discord between the brotherhood. Imagine if I know that you are taking money from me and you're getting more richer, and I know that you are exploiting my weakness, knowing that I am in trouble, I will never respect you. But the moment I realize I'm a rich man, but, and then I'm helping you, you are poor, not because someone forced you, just because you fear Allah, you'd have respect. So in that way, we can eliminate social problem, we can maintain social harmony, we can maintain a great standard of moral. That's why we don't need to separate the state and the church. You know why? Because our Sharia cover everything, all the human problems. The Quran and the Hadith, you will not find a single thing. I challenge everyone, all the non-Muslim who is hearing. There is not a single thing you will not find in Islam that doesn't have answer. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran that he has completed the deen. Meaning, there is no more room for or there is no something else that you will bring that have no answer. That's why we invite you sister to the Islam to look at that and do not you know, as you have realized that how I am losing out this beauty of that I can incorporate to myself. Should you not be a part of this beautiful religion? If you want good for you and good for others, this is the best package you have. Now, just because Asian and Arab follow it and your forefather doesn't follow it, do not make this contention to reject it.
all of my previous ancestors, shall we call them, have been either Christian or Catholic, I would never ever expect England to enforce Christian or Catholic beliefs into politics yeah. myself because politics should be completely different. The Christian ideologies should be a something that you should enforce onto yourself. So that, that there's Not a multiple problem with this. The government yourself enforces yeah. onto people. The government will be always run by the secular yeah. ideas. And then we know those secular ideas cannot be a solution for humanity. Now, imagine if you go to the government, any government you go, yeah. they will not have this interest uh, zakat-based economy system. So therefore, they will always have a, a economic system that actually harms a minor group, a weak group of community. Then weak group of community are, you, have you seen payday loan shop? Payday loan shop. There are, pay, yeah, <laughs> okay. So the payday loan shop exists pretty much every corner you will find. Even the banks are paid considered as a paid loan shop. The moment you go, they will g tell you, okay, you will need your money, we'll give you 5,000 pounds. But in return, you will give me 13.5%. So the bank is actually not really helping you. Bank actually realizing, I'm gonna exploit this person. Who are the owner of the banks? These are the rich people. I don't people. agree with the bank side. Right now. The, the, I don't agree with no, anything but, 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 but I tell you why, I tell you why, why is problematic. Because if you say you you believe in politician to run this country, I don't agree with them. Right now, in few moments ago, you mentioned that we should leave the politics to the no, state official. I said we should have a separation yeah. of religion to the state. Okay. Which means that you have religion. Okay. State. You prefer to live by your rules. If I was Christian, I would prefer no. to live by Christianity rules. But so the but state. then you have the politicians. Yeah, the state the would law. be run by politician. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. By extension, state will be run by politician. And the politician will adopt in the ideology that will, that will discord the harmony of the brotherhood. Can I comment one thing? Now let me finish yeah. it. Yeah. And then you can have a conversation. Or you undertake it, yeah, let me no, go. No, you can go. Okay. So, the, the discord between family and the society goes from the bottom. It always works on the bottom. So when we look at the politician, they will never adopt a fair policy. So therefore, if you know that they will not have a fair policy, how can you again then say, okay, I want religion and state to be separate. And then you are allowing an unfair group of authority to be an authority to, yeah. over you. So there, However, look, look, no, no. Look at uh, no, like America, yeah. where they do not have a separation between uh, Christianity and state. Yeah. It is all combined. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. So. So in America, they do not have a separation yeah. of state yeah. and religion. Yeah. And to be fair, the all of the politicians uh, make their decisions based on their Christianity, and they make their decisions based uh, based on their own personal beliefs and religions instead of what their specific state yeah. asks them to do. So it's not to do with uh, Islam or anything, it's to do with the fact that yeah. I specifically think you should live in your own separate rules, you should not push that onto anyone else, yeah. and that politics and laws should be completely yeah. separate to religion. Th 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 there is a problem with this. There is a problem with this. The whole point of separation of, we need to understand why this is separation. The religion, if the religion doesn't provide enough guidance, I look at the religion of Christianity. It doesn't give you the economic solution of the problem. It's they, are, the government are bound to make state separation between religion and state. Why? Because the religion is unable to cater or unable to provide guidance to the country. Now imagine we cannot use the same brush with Islam. I mentioned to you, Islam, yeah, yeah, so Islam, we don't need to make a separation between the state and the religion, why, you tell me, I've explained to you, why, why, why in Islam, we don't need to make a distinction between state and the religion, between state and the religion, why, because the people should be controlled or asked to abide by laws by the state, no, 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 no. and not by your own personal no. beliefs, no, no, the religion is fully able to cater all the problem, cater all okay, the problem. but that's how Christianity No, but that's, that's a Christianity's, Christianity's problem. That's why, that's why, that why this brother... White Catholics and white Christians 
You used to kill, I'm sorry, so many of you guys. Yeah. And I'm sorry, but that is what happened. And I just don't believe that that is how it should that, be. That's run. why, that's okay. why, that's why the important distinction we made. That's why, why people live in Christianity. First of all, there are many layers of problem. And one of the biggest problem with the Christianity, it doesn't give you solution to all your problem. Why did you become Muslim? Because one of the reason the Islam cater all. Why did you live, has to live Christianity? For in exactly. And if you look at so we have a first hand experience. Now, the reason why the standards have gone gone down is because they've divorced Christianity. If you're going to be a yeah. politician or a teacher, you have to have morals. Yeah. Okay. And you have to believe in something. And none of our politi politicians. So have they can do anything. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. If you fear God, then you will not be corrupt. Yeah. But why should you fear God? Why should you not hope? Well, exactly. No, 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 no. The question go back to the initial premise. Okay. When I said, did you come from nothing? Did you create yourself? And now you realize the moment I accept the other God, then. I have to abide by it. So but it's not I, about I, it's not I about why. I myself because I hope for better, not because I fear of. Being when you say that. when you created yourself, yeah. did you exist before your own existence? Of course I did. I believe in reincarnation. So did you believe that you were the same person when you existed before your existence? Personally, I just think Wait, I don't that think we she understands reincarnation and the doctrine. Really. Reincarnation, there has to be a start. For you to reincarnate, so who created? I you at could. The start of I just don't think this is honestly the right place okay. to have this conversation. No, I, I think because I do have a whole thing for this, but I don't think. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. sure. Is that okay? Was, no, no. I, 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 the I whole point of reincarnation doesn't really apply here. Yeah, yeah. Do you know why? Because it has to have a start yeah, point. Yeah, Reincarnation yeah. means yeah. repetition again. Yeah. But when we addressing the, the prime cause, yeah. the cause of that our existence. Yeah. And as you have realized, the moment we go there, we eliminated all the impossible option. Then the possible necessary option left is for you to accept the maker. Now out of desire, I don't like to accept the maker. It is not a problem of religion, yeah. it's the problem of that person individual itself. So therefore, you, the, if anyone has some sort of ideology derived from the desire, we cannot then okay. counter religious ideology with our ideologies. You know why? Because religious ideology was grounded with foundation and, and the non-religious one are not foundation. So I cannot, like it's not uh, light for light, it's not for uh, apple for apple. Yeah. Do you I, see? Don't, I don't believe that our English politicians in this country sure. aren't good in people. <laughs> yeah, in this, one thing in this amazing country. Sure, sure, I don't sure. believe they're not good so, people because so. of their lack of religion. Many of them have religion. I don't. I just believe that they're not good people because of their lack of can morals. I, I, and there's many states that are very religious. However, the actual the way that they run those states are not. Wait, uh, I, I, I do have wait, to wait. Go. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> thanks for your patience. I just, I just want to say two things quickly. Okay. Sure. Um, one thing I don't think you fully understood was yeah. first of all, Islam itself does not, for example, if you're living under a Muslim state, you can abide by your religious laws. Yeah. There's no problem with that. Unless it's to do with, for example, preaching paganism and stuff like that. There's right, certain yeah, rules yeah, yeah, on yeah. preaching and to yeah. claim your religion. But we don't take away any of your previous, for example, yeah. in Hinduism, if you're not meant, for example, you're not, uh, is it Hinduism, oh, no, no, you're not meant just, to eat a cow? I was just using yeah, other yeah they're, they're well, exactly. sacred. Yeah. And the second thing is, I think we're misunderstanding the reason why we're saying that we do not differentiate religion from state laws is due to Islam answering every single problem from economic to yeah. social. That's the reason. For example, democracy and the country we live in does not answer all of that. Okay. For example, he gave the, the thing taking from the rich and giving to the poor to right, balance yeah. out the economy. Yeah. We should do that. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what? Islam yeah. We cannot be. Oh, look, 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 look. Yeah. I, I tell you. We should do that through a religious way. I no, that's, that's that. called pick and choose. Look, yeah. imagine. Yeah. Imagine. If I take a company, I take his shirt, yeah. and then I say, look, that's, I'm going to... I'm sorry, I've no, got to go, but you know, I think but, but we this should is, do it so look, a religious so, way. We should do it No, but because, look, 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 I, I tell you why, I tell you why, I tell you why. You accept my... Case, no, 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 no. you no, believe I, this? Create your own party. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you very simply, I'll summarize it, yeah? As if you took my product, 
but you don't accept yeah, me. Exactly. Yeah. So this is a, uh, I would say, um, uh, not a fair standard. Picking and choosing. Picking yeah. and choosing. So what we, sister, we formally invite you to Islam to look into the beautiful religion of Islam, where you surrender to that one Allah, the Creator Almighty, and then one day you will return to Allah, and Allah will ask you about this life. Okay. And this life is a test, sister. So. We wanted to give you a copy of the Quran for your own reading. You. And I appreciate Allah guide you to Islam and look into it. And, and, and if you have any final question, do you have any final? I don't have any final questions. I really enjoyed this chat with you. Yeah, I, I hope that also the viewers yeah. clarified many, many, many things we have it's said, you know. Very small yeah. Point. But if you agree with the political side of Islam and what it preaches in its law, and then you reject the theological side, you cannot, for example, when you say that we should do that, but we can't. <laughs> Okay, if you don't mind, if you hold on one second. Sure. If you leave a little bit, then there can be transplant, but not when you stop. So what we're saying on the other hand, you have the soul, but you can't see the soul. You have soul in your body, even the doctors know. You like person? Very good, I see. Good combo. Kitty Tom. All points refuted. Atheist. 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 All points refuted. Hey, Amar kunta pandu. Ami to nijhu bolisi. Ye chhe. Tumar arakta koi mai. Amar oto go tharai. Na na arakta disipat duite asli. Thora disipat duke di mami ko. Ahi. If you don't mind. Thank you, it was a pleasure Thank talking you. to you. Thank you.